Welcome to AnchorCast, a weekly podcast of homilies and sermons from Christ Our Anchor Anglican Mission in Nashville, Tennessee. Let's pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. Amen. St. Luke says today, quoting Jesus, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit, and will not straightway pull him out on the Sabbath day? Our Lord today calls us to remember that Sabbath, that rest and worship, were made for us and not to bind us to rules. Sabbath and worship should not be something that keeps us away from helping our brothers and sisters, but should be the source of overflowing grace that God gifts us with when we rest in heaven. From this teaching, I think we can take two main points. First is that we cannot neglect rest and worship. No matter what is going on in our lives, whether war, famine, stress, sadness, or any other affliction, there is always time for worship. With our brothers and sisters in Christ, we can step aside from the brokenness of this world and take a moment to worship the one who took all brokenness upon himself. We can pause and allow his spirit to fill us with grace, mercy, and strength for the journey ahead. We can stop and know that amidst the suffering, amidst the pain, he has experienced it all. He is with us. He knows, sees, and cares. He stands beside us through it all. He is not worried because he has conquered all things and will bring us to his everlasting kingdom. The second point, is that we cannot let rest and so-called self-care take us away from our brotherly duty to others. We are all tired. Some of us more than others. All of us have our struggles. All of us have our problems. And yet not a single one of us is exempt from the call to be a member of the body of Christ. All of us have our function. All of us are called to humble ourselves, to look past our drama of even for just a moment and focus on another. Jesus says, he that humbles himself shall be exalted. We are all invited to Christ's wedding feast. We all sit at the table and there is room for each and every one of us. In whatever situation you find yourself in, know that God loves you. He sees your situation, and even when it seems like he doesn't care and absolutely nothing is changing, he is at work. His will for you and for us is always good. The arms of Jesus are open. He stands ready to exalt you to the throne of a prince in his kingdom. So cling to him in your struggles. Take time to worship and rest with your brothers and sisters. Leave your time of rest, then, overflowing with his grace, humbled and ready to look upon your brother and sister with new eyes. Jesus says, friend, go up higher. All are welcome. Blessed are those who come. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. 
Christ Our Anchor is an Anglican mission in East Nashville that meets on Wednesday evenings for prayer and fellowship. Follow us at ChristOurAnchor.org to learn more about the work God has called us to in East Nashville. And join us on Wednesday evenings at 5.30 as we live into what Jesus has called His church to be. Everyone is welcome. Welcome.